This is really a hands-on tutorial on how to download the hidden tier ransomware, edit it, and then execute it on the victim's machine. But before going hands-on, let me tell you some history about this ransomware. The hidden tier was an open source project whose goal was to create a simple ransomware in C-sharp. Unfortunately, the project was abandoned on GitHub, but currently it has more than 400 forks so that you can easily go to GitHub, find any of these forks, and download it. The ransomware uses the symmetric AES algorithm to encrypt the files of the victim. It will then send the symmetric key to a server that we will set up and will leave the victim with a text file having a message that explains what happened. You need first to install Visual Studio that supports c -sharp language. Then we will go to GitHub and install one of the forks of the hidden tier ransomware. We will open the files or the projects in Visual Studio, edit those. After that, we will set up a web server on Kali. We will configure the web server to receive the encryption keys. Then we will move the ransomware and the decryptor to the victim's machine and execute the attack. First of all, you need to go to GitHub to this link here and you need to clone the project. After that, you open the downloaded file and you will be presented by two main folders or two main projects. The hidden tier, which is a solution in Visual Studio, and the decryptor, which will decrypt actually the files. After you extract the downloaded file, double click on the hidden tier and open it in Visual Studio. Right click on the form 1.c sharp and press on view code. Let us walk through this to make our own hidden tier ransomware. This actually is the target of the server that we will need to set up. So we will put the IP here of our server. Then we will create a simple PHP file that will get the encryption keys via the info parameter. Scrolling down, you will be able to see the extension of the encrypted files. You can change that to your own extension. Below you will be able to see all the extensions of the files that will be encrypted. You can add and remove any of the files that you want to encrypt on the victim's machine. We'll leave that as is for now. Scrolling towards the end of the source code, you will be able to see the path this is the path of the attack. So here in this example, the ransomware will only attack or will only encrypt the files under the test folder which is found on the desktop. Navigating towards the end of the source code, you will be able to see the text file that we will create on the victim's machine and the message that we will put in this text file. For example, like this message, you have been hacked, send us an amount of 0.5 bitcoins to this address to view your files again. So this read it file will be under the test folder on the desktop. The most important part to explain is this target URL. So here in this target URL, you are sending the key from the victim to the web server that you have set up that will contain the encryption key. So for the sake of this tutorial, we will create a web server on the Kali machine. So here you will have the IP of the web server then we will create a file or PHP file on the root directory of the web server to receive the key. So for this purpose, let's remove that here, the file, we will call it keys.php. So we will create keys.php file on the root directory and we will get the information through the info parameter on that. Here, you need to populate the IP of the web server. In this case, it is Setting up the web server is quite easy. You go to your Kali machine and navigate to var www.html list the contents here you have the index.php so now you need to create the keys.php file use gedit keys 
.php. And once this file opens, just paste this code. So this is actually the, the script, the PHP script in the keys.php file that will get the data from the info get parameter and put it in the data.txt file. For this purpose as well, we need to create the data.txt file in the same root path of our web server. Make sure you save this file. Now we need to create the data.txt file as well. So use the same command gedit data.txt, open the file and make sure to save it. After you create the data.txt, it's important to grant it access. So you go here, var www.html, right click on data.txt properties, then permissions, go to the group, navigate to www-data and give it read and write access. Now let's list the directory here. We have the data.txt to save the encryption files and the keys.php which has the PHP script that will get the information in the info get parameter. The only thing left to do is to start the Apache service. And here we go. Now everything is ready in place for the attack. After we've edited the file with the extension of the encrypted files, the extension types, and the folder that we're gonna attack, along with writing up the message to the victim, you just go here to build and compile the project. Now if you navigate to the hidden tier folder that you've downloaded under the bin and under the debug folder, you'll be able to see the hidden tier.exe file. Open the decryptor source code in Visual Studio and match the extension that you've written in the ransomware. Make sure to go to the path and update it. Now go to build and compile the solution. Navigating to the decryptor folder, bin, debug folder, you will be able to see that a decryptor.exe file has been created. Now we will move the ransomware and the decryptor file to the victim's machine. For the sake of this tutorial, I've created the test folder on the desktop and I've created text file in that, let's call it demo. In that demo file, you will see this is a demo for the hidden tier ransomware. You can as well as many files as you want with the extensions that are listed in the source code of the ransomware. Now we will double click on the ransomware and notice what will happen. The file will change to red python extension and it will be encrypted. A new file as well will be populated that has our message. Now let's go to the Kali machine. Remember in the same directory we had the file data.txt so let's check what's in that file as you can see here this is the name of the machine of the victim's machine this is the username of the victim and this is the key used to encrypt the file now in order to decrypt the files just run the hidden tier decryptor paste the password which is this one and then click decrypt files to have them decrypted. 